So when I left you, I had me, um, my last chuck, and I did have another little indication. And I thought, I'm just gonna have a quick look on my pole because looking around, more people are definitely getting more bites on the pole. And I've caught five eyed, just fishing here on the bottom. All I'm doing is just loose feeding twice once I've laid my rig in and I'm trying desperately to just fish from on the bottom. You know, if I'm starting to get loads and loads of signs off the bottom, then obviously I'll have a go shallow. But I really want to just try if I can and catch them on the bottom because in that match that I fished, Sam caught so well on peg one on the bottom. You know, some great big eyed. So I've had five bites on it. And the float's just lifted, that's me. Now on this line, again, because I'm trying to work out, this is all new to me, you know, fishing for eyed on the bottom. Where I live, we haven't got any eyed. So what I've done is I've set two rigs up, both quite a heavy float, because it's about six foot where we're fishing. Um, both with a bulk, bulk of number eights, two, two number 11 cubes as droppers. Um, both hook lengths are the same, but one's a four inch, one's a five inch. So I'm just starting off on my five inch. And then my other rig, just my bulks, ev everything's just that little bit closer, a little bit closer to the hook. So what I'm doing is trying to swing, swing my rig out sort of lower my bulk down and just fold my flow just so I can sort of bomb it down a little bit and then just try and feed my maggots on my flow and again just shorten my flow if I can there straight away that might be an F1 but literally just starting as soon as I come off that method feeder line I can see you can see that I know really, nobody's doing it it's that good here. You're going to be able to go in on the pole and get bites. No, it is an eyed. So, look at the size of these things. I don't even think that's an overly big one for this leg, but they're so fit and healthy. So, I think that's six eyed. So, what I've got to do now is try and keep on top of me net limits. And it's so hard when you're fishing for fish that you've not caught before. Um, knowing what they weigh. Now that time I folded my float in, let it catch it up, just lifted my float and then just lowered it down a bit. And I definitely got a quicker bite when I done that. Whereas before I would just, um, sort of letting the rig swing in. So I'm gonna to need to experiment a little bit with the best way of laying my rig in. There. It might just be a case, just because we're starting to feed a little bit more regular. We'll see we've fed it for a little bit longer now. But there's some more fish coming in the peg. So. This, you, can you see now why I absolutely love it? Just beautiful, beautiful fish. Everything's immaculate, everything's massive. Just such a beautiful venue. So I'm just fishing with a white maggot and a red maggot. The rules here really, they're so, they're so simple. Um, you know, Ben don't want loads of rules here. The biggest thing is 60 pounder net limit, six pints of maggots and casters combined. So behind me, you'll be able to see that I've got, I've actually got my bait tubs um, with my maggots in. I like keeping them like that for a couple of reasons when there's a limit, is by emptying a bait box at a time, it's given me a rough idea of how much I'm feeding. Because again, when there's limits, you don't want to be running out. So it's just going to be able to give me a good idea of how, you know, how much I'm feeding. 
little signs, a few little signs on my flow. Again, I'm just trying to wait for a clean, either a clean under or a clean lift. So I might just have to every now and again just lift it, sort of just lift my flow up and lower it back down. Maybe like an odd lift and drop, they might be able to spot my maggots a little bit better. But the biggest thing I felt like I learned the last, so I've only ever been on this lake once before. The biggest mistake I made that day was get like fishing shallow. Yes, you do get some bites, but the problem is, is you change your feeding, so you're starting to feed more regularly, less bait because you're feeding all the time. But as soon as I just settled back and fished on the bottom, it was so much better, so much easier to be able to catch them. So this is just going to be working out really for us today. You know, what's the best way of putting our rig in? What's the best rig? Fishing a body over depth at the moment. Just hold me float dead still. But Sam said to me, I'm sure he had to, you know, rest it. So you go in, catch a few. And then you have to come off of it. So what I said when we started is I'm not going to feed me edges just yet. But as soon as I went in on this line and caught quite quickly, every now and again I'm just going to throw a few maggots down the edges. Because if I do need to come off this line, I don't really think going back on a method, to be honest, is going to be any good. So, no signs. No signs then, so I'm just going to flick my rig in, give it a little bit of a slower fall. Again, feed me, feed me maggots. Might be better that, you know, laying it in or lowering it is just working out what's going to be best. But I think that one, one thing with our hide, they're definitely sort of gorge feeders. But what's nice here is, you know, there is so many car, so many F1s in here as well. So that might be the reason, you know, that you, my peg's gone a little bit quieter. You might have an odd car loitering around or, you know, a few big F1s in your peg. It's interesting how we've gone in at bites really, really quickly. To just stop getting, there's a little sign on my flow, is that a bite? Wasn't too sure. I've started, obviously at this distance, trying to fish closer to myself. So one thing that I noticed that Sam did, to try and keep him on the bottom a little bit. But I've got a bit of tape on this section and obviously I can always go further if need be. But yeah, it's just a case of working out as we're going along. You can see with how big they are. That's what I mean, it's not, when you look at the weights, you think it's gonna be silly fishing, but it's not, it's like a lot of bottom fishing. Just everything's such a good stamp. That's why you end up with your big weights. So, lift the rig up. Just strange how it's gone from, you know, going in and getting signed straight away to stopping getting bites. Just wanted to just double check my hook bait, that's all. Okay, feed me maggots. Look at that flow, see what signs I get. It takes experience for me at the moment. I think when you go to a venue regularly, you get a sign, you know, you get a sign of when do you come off the line or do you just carry on fishing it. So I haven't got that experience at the moment, but. Love it. 
fish. So I think that is seven, seven fish. Single white maggot look through the fin end. Single red maggot. And then now what I'm gonna start doing. Just throw in not loads, but just a few maggots. Down both edges. Just so I've got somewhere to drop in if I stop getting by. But yeah, at the moment, oh, I've only got one maggot on that. So yeah, at the moment it's just a case of carrying on doing what I'm doing. Just keep trying to put a few fish in the net. Definitely, at the moment to me, right, lad on 14, obviously the lad on peg one. Definitely catching more carp and F1s. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they're fishing maggots or if they're fishing with pellets. So that could be the other thing. But last time when I fished, when I was on peg A, just fishing on the bottom, I think I caught, I didn't catch many carp, I think I caught one carp long, just out of the blue. But I did catch a few big F1s. And then later on I did catch a couple of F1s and one, one carp in the edge. I did lose a big carp as well that day. God, that is a stunning fish. Look at that. They're the big units that we want. 